Touchdown in the land of eternal night. In the middle of the pouring. I guess it's not really raining, but still rain. You know, if this were a Yakuza game, I would have been set upon by several dozen street thugs by this point who were to challenge me to a game of pinball to be named the Pinball King. Open the gates, it is I, the King of Pinball. Hey Greg, am I all hot and bothered because there's a sexy lady walking by us or is it because of the radiation suit? Probably the radiation suit. Man, imagine if sexiness produced radiation. I'd have to warn everybody to put on their hazmat suits any time I took a shower. You wanna know what caused the apocalypse in the Fallout series? Ryan Gosling's tushy. Just Ryan Gosling's tushy, boom! Everyone dead. Welcome to scenic downtown Los Angeles. With such sights as the trash can and the burning trash can. My skills. And I know for a fact that experience is actually gained by touching butts. Huh. What the ha! Ah! Ah! Okay, good talk. Help me! Help me! It's got them! It's, it's coming for me now! It's coming for me! Well, thank goodness you found me, an innocent bystander who is not a sexy vampire that will gouge out your throat and feed on you for sustenance. My crew, my crew, we, were, we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist. Hunted LA. Oh, oh, God, it was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. Can't tell if the emotion this guy's trying to convey is terror or cartoon dog. Look, I'll level with you. We, hmm, we, bacon, we bacon, hmm, bacon. Ghosts of this, that's all bullshit. We were sitting up downstairs. Sausages, sausages. It started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I don't know what's happening. Imagine this guy doing Shakespeare. Romeo, Romeo, where for the Romeo? No, no, don't go down there. We've got to get out. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming! <laughs> what? What the hell is this? Whoa, there he goes. Hey man, how many times have you crapped your pants since walking into this building? Oh, ten! Really? Okay. That, that's a lot of crap in your pants. I like how he's just sort of confused by his surroundings now. Where am I? What? <laughs> what is with this holding up of the hands that he keeps doing? Looks like he's doing an impression of a guy who's terrified of surfing, but it's in his heart. He has the heart of a surfer, so he must do it, but it's really scary for him. A uh, tubular, let's hang ten guys, shaka bra. What is it with this game and soiled mattresses? I'm sensing a theme, and the theme is, I wet the bed. Ah! What? Okay, somebody's been using their work computer to torrent the Paranormal Activity series again. I'm looking at you, Jake. Okay, ventilation shaft. If you give me any trouble, I'm gonna ventilate you. <laughs> they don't call me the Steel Samurai for nothing, you know. They call me the Steel Samurai because I like to chop steel endlessly with no results. Ah. Uh, let me in! You know, Merrick, there's a good chance that's not the way you're supposed to go. You know, Bakora, there's a good chance that... Shut up! So, so far, the options as to what that guy was running screaming from are a soiled mattress, a very annoying ventilation shaft, and paranormal activity. I'm gonna go with the mattress. Ah, there must have been a fire drill in this office building and these beds didn't want to follow the fire safety instructions. They just rushed down the stairs all at once. Not single file, not at a leisurely pace. At least they didn't try using the elevators. That would have been a huge no-no. Okay, remember that Mel Gibson house and how terrifying that was? This is the exact opposite of that situation. I'm just, I want to be terrified. But so far, it's just messy. Uh, damn you, lumber. Why is it that my greatest enemies in this game are inanimate objects? Doors, ventilation shafts, wood. Yes, drag him. I think you handle wood pretty well myself. Yeah, I broke it all and walked all over it. This still has higher production values than most escape rooms. What? 
Don't sass me, hospital gurney. You go in the corner with the rest of the naughty furniture. And don't think I didn't notice you, Buster Brown. You know it's weird, but the feng shui in this place is perfect. <laughs> There's a handy cam. Hi, this is Bloody Corner of the Room, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be reviewing Sonic Adventure 2. Is every house in Los Angeles just constructed out of balsa wood? Oh, That's the sound of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo rediscovering his religious side. He mostly just uses it as an excuse to not go ghost hunting on the Sabbath. It's the day of rest, you know. Instead of wafers, his church gives out Scooby snacks. Ah, this is where they conducted the autopsy of the Mega Man franchise. Yeah, out of blood. Well, somebody really hated beds. The Princess and the P2. Revengeance. Ah! What was that? The doors, they're evolving. They're learning to counteract my skills even when they're wide open. Yeah. All right, door, you wanna play? Yeah. Hey, get a room, you two. Ah. Preferably a room without a door that attacks me. Uh, wh why can't I move off this thing? Oh, uh, come on, friggin' game. Ah, ah, ah. I guess that guy was right to be afraid of surfing. I did it for one second and it was horrible. Friggin' bad, I've had it up to here with you. Just A plus level design in this game. Well, we didn't design any actual interesting obstacles for the player to overcome, but we can make the place really untidy and inconvenient. I finally know what a sim feels like when they're swimming and then the ladder magically disappears because God willed it to happen. This is me just flailing and slowly drowning in the poorly designed pool that I could probably just leave if I tried hard enough, but I don't feel like trying because I'm dumb. Can't wait to see what exciting new location I find. Oh look, it's the same room. Turns out the real vampires were the architects who designed these buildings because they sucked the life right out of them. Random dead end, random dead end. Oh hey, somebody else who's struggling with these crappy doors. <laughs> wow, these doors are pissed, man. Where were you when the Great Door Uprising of 2017 went down? Doors just started locking themselves indiscriminately. People found themselves trapped forever inside meeting rooms and unable to open their fridges for another cold one. It was a dark time. Hello, half-naked woman staring at a skull. I guess I'm walking towards you now. Well, oh, what the? Did you bring enough to share with the class? Real terror is not the sight of death. It's the smell. It is the fear of death. Oh, right, yes. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. I know. Look, man, all I know is that you need, like, a million wet wipes right now. Y you got a little... Y yeah. Drinking blood to sustain your death. You are damned, yes? Damned if I do and damned if what I don't. Had to cha cha cha. The blood of the living. You had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life. What would you call it? Twice damned? I'd call it once, twice, three times a vampire. My birth name I tell no one. Because it's silly. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in the time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Pisha is also the name of my OC, original dead person, do not steal. My stay in this city is transitory. Yeah, in this housing market, I don't blame you. I the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Dormammu, I have come to bargain. Oh, that's a different uh, mortal being, sorry. So what, I have to go pick up food for you now? What do I look like, the vampire equivalent of Eat 24? Would that be Bleed 24? I don't know. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. Classic. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. You know, Pennywise is sexier than I remember. She looks like she got rejected to play one of those girls from Mortal Kombat. You know, like Jade, or Kitana, or Melina, Vic Mignana. 
Now this is still a better setup than most amateur voice actors' sound booths. This is the vampire equivalent of someone cutting off the bread crust from their sandwiches and tossing them in a pile in the corner. Not that I know anybody who does that. Yeah, Bacorda. I don't like the crust. Crust is good for you, Bacorda. You don't know that. There is no science to support that argument. There's plenty of science. It's called sandwiches. Manic, I'm not eating the bloody crust, okay? Yeah, you spat on me. Sorry. Very passionate about my feelings on bread. Please wipe it off. My hands are busy. Kids love Dilapidated Building Simulator 2017. Get all the thrills of exploring a potential death site without the real fear of getting a nasty infection from some sort of broken wooden beam that is lying around. Where'd I go? Where are you at, overacting NPC? You know, all that scenery chewing he was doing at the beginning of this area must be what led to this place looking like it does. Like the scenery was literally chewed to pieces. But hopefully not the soiled mattress. Please don't chew that. Now someone's been torrenting the movie Static. Where did he go? Did he just get assumed into crappy video game acting heaven? He's up there now with the cast of original Resident Evil and most Sega CD FMV games. The skills which are mine! 